All right, Laura, thank you. Another day, another fight against a pot dispensary in someone's backyard. Opponents in this next story thought they won their crusade against cannabis coming to their neighborhood. Instead, the issue is up for debate again. That's happening tonight. Morning Insider Lauren Victory has more on this. I've traveled and worked all over the world. Could live most anywhere and chose Park Ridge as home decades ago. Stephen no Saracen reads from his collected areas. thoughts about an eyesore in his neighborhood. We stand here at 10 Higgins. Site of the shuttered Park Ridge Veterans Club. It's been vacant for seven years. Holes in the roof, debris dangling. He says anything would be better. Well, almost anything. A business of this nature in a residential area is just completely inappropriate. Saracen and others are not okay with the recreational pot dispensary proposed in the VFW Hall's place. Supporters say it would help revitalize the area and bring in revenue to Park Ridge. Opponents worry about security of the cash-only business and the fact that the cannabis company would butt against a neighborhood with several families. What message are you sending to the children? I mean, to the adolescents, to the young adults, that this is that this is okay because we're going to profit from this and it's going to help to pay our pensions. You might have thought their fight was over after the Park Ridge City Council said no to the operation of a dispensary here. But Alderman recently voted to reconsider that decision. I think a lot of the neighbors felt um, you know, a little deflated. The dispensary is back on the table after proposed changes to its plan, like routing traffic away from the residential area and installing landscaping as a sort of privacy shield. If the fence is taller than this and it's going to be wider than this, why is that buffer not enough for you guys? Uh, because no matter how much buffering you put on this property, it doesn't change the use of the building. Opponents are gathering the troops again for more rounds of public hearings. We need to stay involved and we need to bring it to closure in a positive manner. Have you ever been vocal about issues in your community before to this extent? No. Proud Park Ridge residents turned political. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. City officials declined our offer for an interview and instead referred us to their hours of public comment made during council meetings. The fate of the dispensary won't be known for weeks. It goes back to the Planning and Zoning Commission tonight. And for more stories like this one and to continue following this story, you can download our CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insider.